Welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and it is October, and I have a lot of great spooky reviews planned, including the final Halloween show at the end of this month. But tonight I'm diving into the Goosebumps series, which is a personal favorite of mine. I really enjoyed the very first 62 books, and very off and on with the newest books that have been published. I didn't even read Slappy World, but I was very curious to see what the new series House of Shivers would be like, so I decided to pick this book up. And Scariest Book Ever is pretty enjoyable, actually. It's definitely not classic, but I did actually really enjoy reading it. And, you know, like Goosebumps, they're just a nice little spooky quick read, which I do always enjoy. This book finds twins Betty and Billy being sent to live with their Uncle Wendell for a few weeks as their parents are on a little business trip. And soon Uncle Wendell tells them about the scariest book ever and how people are coming for it. I really enjoyed the setting of this book. I really did like the mysterious forest. There's a lot of interesting creatures, which you can kind of guess what one of them looks like based on the cover, which is a nice cover art, by the way. And it's just very interesting as they're exploring it. But of course, like R.L. Stein, there are a lot of twists in this book. One of the biggest twists involves Uncle Wendell. Now in this book, there is multiple people who claim to be that character. Of course, Billy and Betty, they don't know what Uncle Wendell looks like. I think the parents should have showed them that, by the way, instead of just leaving them to wait for Uncle Wendell. That was not very good, was it? But it's definitely filled with all the twists because there is the villains of this book, which are the bookworm and the collector who are trying to get the real Uncle Wendell to give them the scariest book ever. Would you have opened up this book, the scariest book ever? And of course, it has all that kind of dialogue that you would expect from a Goosebumps book. R.L. Stein really gives a lot of kind of funny moments in this book, but also there's a lot of good kind of creepy moments that I did really enjoy reading. And you really feel really sorry for Betty and Billy that they have to go through all this with their very eccentric Uncle Wendell, and there's multiple of them. But there's a few giveaways, I really think, like them never being told that their that Uncle Wendell has a kid. Yeah, I think that would have been a pretty easy giveaway for them to realize that something is not right here. <laughs> But yeah, I would actually really recommend this book. I think it's actually a really fun little read. So the next book is going to be Goblin Monday coming out next year. And I'm going to probably pick that one up and read it and see what I think. Because so far, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with, you know, House of Shivers. I also want to say with Goblin Monday, is this attentional right there? Can you read that? Mom, mom. I don't know, I find that absolutely hilarious. I think that's a typo. But yeah, have you guys read the scariest book ever from R.L. Stein. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.